let's do how to deal with these social media addicted thotteries. Chrome tab, uh, Virgin share. So this is another ghosting segment from Virgin. I heard it this morning when I was going in to get my beard all cleaned up so I could look like a handsome, sexy bitch today for you guys. And um, it's it's a quick one, but this dude ditched this chick because of her addiction to her phone and social media. He was a really nice guy about it. Um, you know, your typical Canadian. Um, so that's one way that you can handle it. But I want to play it for you guys so you can hear uh, the frame around it. And uh, I'll give you a little bit of advice, in my opinion anyway, on how I would handle something like this uh, if I was out with a chick and she was doing this sort of nonsense on her phone. So um, you guys should have audio on this. If you can't hear when I'm playing this, uh, let me know. Let's speed it up because that'll just take a lot less time. My volume is up. And uh, again, let me know if you can't hear this. Uh, but you should be good to go. There's no video feed, so I mean, you just need to listen to it really because it's just these guys in a studio talking with uh, subtitles. Here we go. It sounds like you are a little bit uh, insecure, but don't worry. Like, I get it. This happens a lot. Tons of guys cannot handle like my presence on social media. Everybody, let's welcome Jessica. Yeah. It's ghosted Jessica, so it's not great that you're here, but we're still happy to meet you. Hi guys. Hi. How are you? Oh my god. Uh, one of the first things that I want to state here is that you know what you will notice is a lot of times when these women like call into these shows and say, "Oh, I got ghosted by this guy I really like." They don't tell you the whole story. It's like, "I'm a victim. I don't know why he didn't want to talk to me. Help me out." Sort of thing, right? But uh, I suspect she knew that all of this shit was coming. It's 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 a bit of a a ploy that's played. <laughs> hey, Jessica, tell us about Doug. What happened? Uh, oh my gosh, Doug. Okay, so he won't get back to me. And like, I just don't know why. And this has never happened to me before. And I just, you guys are the experts. So I figured maybe you could help me. Imagine, imagine being so like consumed and narcissistic that you're completely unaware, socially uncalibrated to the extent where you don't understand that a dude doesn't want anything to do with you because you're addicted to posting on social media. I don't know why. You guys are the experts. All right, let's hear it. Okay. All right, well, let's walk it back here. Tell us a little bit about you and Doug and how you guys got started and where it was at when he stopped messaging you back. Okay, so we met on Hinge. Like It was like maybe like three weeks ago, and we were talking a lot through text, um, and we decided to meet up. Mm -hmm. So last weekend, we went to dinner at King Street West, and we had a really great time. It was super fun. Okay. And that's it? Well, <laughs> and I don't know if, like, maybe something happened, like, to his phone, or I thought he, like, followed me, and then he unfollowed me. I don't know. But he won't text me back, and I'm just wondering, like, I'll what's going on? Like, if, if he's okay, or, Are you talking you know about, like, Instagram? I mean? We followed you, followed, like... By the way, guys, um, if you're dealing with a chick that behaves like this with her phone on social media, uh, don't just ghost her. Let her know straight up. I don't deal with women that are addicted to their phones and posting on social media. Um, let these thoughts know what's up. Usually when you're like, yeah, hey, I went out to dinner and a guy followed me, I'd be like, oh, that's no. scary. Yeah. So you're talking about social media. Yeah, well, okay. yeah. I mean, like maybe he was intimidated by me because like, I don't know, I was kind of getting some scares. Like, yeah, I mean, like, I'm, you know, whatever. I have, like, I'm popular on Instagram, but, you know, I just, I mean, maybe he was intimidated or scared off. I'm popular on Instagram. Like, I was getting stares. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The insufferability of this nonsense. I bet. But, like, I just want him to know, like, that I don't care about that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just, I mean, I don't know. A follow on follow is, is not a good move. So something but definitely. I don't even know if it was him. Have, have you ever liked unlike sure. something? Too? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's oh, just yeah. embarrassing. Yeah. The or, or when you accidentally like something when you're creeping. And it's from like yeah. 2016. Yeah. The trick is you just go through in like a whole bunch of photos and then you message no, say, sorry, my niece had my phone. No, oh, okay. You've yeah. done that before. No. <laughs> okay. So here's what we're going to do. Jessica, it doesn't sound like anything bad happened that was like, you know, outward. So what we'll do is is we'll call him next, you listening on the phone, and we'll find out from him uh, his side of the story. Okay, great. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. No problem. 
so if you haven't met Jessica, Jessica's great. Uh, she went on a few dates with this guy named Doug, and now we won't get back to her, and she doesn't understand why. Now, Jessica, you did sort of mention that you were at a restaurant with him last week on King West, and you were getting some stares. Can you explain why that was? Well, I'm popular on Instagram, and so I'm sure people recognize me, oh, and right. I was, like, taking some pictures and stuff. And, I mean, also, I looked really good, so well, I wanted people stare. Okay. okay. And and there was some sort of following, unfollowing incident, too, that you mentioned? I'm not sure. There was a Doug that followed me and unfollowed me, but I don't even know if it was him. I didn't even, like, look at his profile. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is call him with you listening on the phone like we always do, and you know this, and I ask everybody this. Are you sure you want to make this call? Because it can be yeah. harsh. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Well, let's make the call to Doug, please. Hello? Hi, is this Doug? Yeah, it's him. Doug? Uh, it's Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax from 99.9 Virgin Radio. Good morning. Hi. Oh, uh, okay. Hi, guys. Uh, yeah, pleasure to hear from you, I guess. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe wait on that. <laughs> Doug, we're, we're not actually that scary. I just, uh, you know, we wanted to talk to you about an incident last week. We understand. Um, don't ask us how. We understand that you uh, went. I'm just scrolling through the comments here. I want to see if somebody's tagged her in it. This this popular. I'm so popular on Instagram. Note last week with somebody, and ever since you haven't responded to their texts, and we would qua- classify that as a ghosting. So we're just investigating. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I fear I know who we're talking about. Uh huh. I figured you might because unless you went to two dinners on Wednesday yeah. last week. So I happened? did not know. It was just the one. Just the one. What's up? So what's up with you and Jessica, man? She's like one of these these Instagram social media people. Yeah. And um, I am just not that into that sort of, I don't want to call it narcissism, but that sort of, you know, uh, ego, I guess. But, and that's exactly what it is. It's ego. It's narcissism. It's when women are using their phones, they're pointing the camera at themselves, right? They're not pointing it at the world, generally taking pictures of things. It's like validate me you know give me attention and show me your your likes like the the big danger and this was um this is a lot of data that was put together by dr leonard Sachs, who's a child psychologist and he says you know the big problem with screens is a lot of guys guys you know like young men get addicted to them um usually around video games and girls get addicted to them seeking validation and approval um, from, you know, social media, uh, it's basically from simps, you know, at the end of the day. So you can blame simps for all this <laughs> anyway. Um, and because I wasn't one of her uh, wild admiring fans or a mirror for her, she paid zero attention to me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you elaborate on yeah. that? Like, what do you mean? Um, yeah, I guess I can. Uh, she yes, elaborate. is, uh, very, very into herself and like, uh, you know, a healthy ego is one thing, but, um, when it's all about your presence on uh, Instagram or TikTok. Like everything was an Instagram moment. You know what I mean? Like everything had to be a, a photo or a video. That I, I should have figured it out earlier on because she pressed me on, on taking her to, you guys know Aretta? Oh, yeah. 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 It's great. It's just, you know, the, I know now is the, the top Instagrammable spot in Toronto, which I, I thought it was just a nice dinner spot, but that was not the intention. You know? Okay. Um, as soon as she got in the car, when I picked her up, uh, she was on her phone. She did not get off her phone the whole time. So, know? look, I mean, I just got a message from Shake, by the way. He said he's, his time zone thing was off, so he's, so he's on his way. Um, the thing about this now, if you pick up a chick and she's on her phone immediately, I would just turn around and drop her the fuck off. Get the fuck out, right? Why, why would you even take her out to dinner to let her spend the night on your dime taking photographs of food for her thirsty betas? No, yeah. we, we got to the restaurant. I had to take a picture of her outside the restaurant, and we had to do a TikTok as soon as we got in. I had to take a picture of her outside of the restaurant, had to do a TikTok as soon as we got in. Are you guys hearing this shit? In the restaurant, and then yeah, no. taking photos of me holding a glass, making yeah. me take photos of her holding a fork over food, but but I only photos of me were like of my hands. Yeah, so that's, you know. They got nice hands. Uh, well, thank you. I, <laughs> I'm looking at them right now. Yeah. Yeah. You moisturize these things or what? I, I, I didn't. I wouldn't. I didn't really need a picture of me, but like, it, you're not even. Yeah. Who, no, are, no, no. who are we? Hi- what are we hiding? You know, it, it just felt. I don't know. It was weird, man. You know, vague and uncomfortable, and um, like I said, she just she wasn't present. You know, she wasn't there for the date. She yeah. was there for the photo. Is that something that they're into? You know, social media, cool, cool, cool. But like you said, not for you, and not really the time. Yeah, hold on, fair. hold on, hold on. I I think it's fair that we get the other side of this, isn't it? Not? Sure. Is it not? Yeah, I'd like to. Okay. So, you know what, Doug? We did you a little bit dirty 
Jessica has been on the phone listening to this the entire time. You got to listen to this shit now. Oh, good. Hi, Doug. Um, <laughs> hi. Oh, yeah. my God. Like, are you jealous? Like, it sounds like you are a little bit uh, insecure, but don't worry. Like, I get it. She comes at this dude right now with, oh, my God, are you jealous? It sounds like you're a little bit insecure. Like, can you believe the audacity of this one? This happens a lot. Tons of guys cannot handle, like, my presence on social media. But I just want you to know, Doug, I really want to make it work with you. I this is the problem with social media and these young broads today is, is, is it, it, like, they already have an overly entitled sense of self-worth. And because they have a following, I don't know what it is, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, who cares even if it's 100,000, thirsty nerds that follow and like her and slide into her DMs on a daily basis telling her how beautiful she is, she, she thinks that she's important. Like, this is your job? <laughs> and I, I need a normal guy like you in my life. And Jessica. Like, honest, yes. What do you mean you need him? Normal guy. I, Another, you yeah. said normal guy. Yeah, like a normal oh, guy. Like yeah, all the guys that dated are trash. Nice and Doug, is, you're so <laughs> sweet and nice. Um, well, thanks. Um, I, I'll tell you, it's not just no. the guys I think they can't handle. It's that the lady at the table next to us put the, her napkin over her head while you were shining that light on your food. So, like, I, okay, we're getting I, to, okay. I appreciate your face. I was that, working. Okay. Like, this is my job. I was working. Like, this is my job. You're freaking kidding me. You think that posting your food on Instagram is a job, you dummy? This is... <clears throat> This is it, man. This is it. Um, you know, like take a I have break. To... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I get it, but like on a first date, like yeah. You, yeah, you say I'm a nice guy. You don't know anything about me. You didn't ask me anything. <laughs> you, you know <laughs> oh my God, very little so about me. You were you were oh. in your phone the whole time. I, I hate to say, it, I don't think you're far off from the guys you usually date because like <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Right, 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 right. not, it, it just you, wasn't great. You're right, not right, right for each other. Okay, okay. That's, is that is that fair? You guys are not right for each other. That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. No, like we can, Doug. Oh my God. You're so cute. This is like enough with that, though. I mean, let's. Where should we go next? Do you want to go to the distillery district? Oh, no, maybe. Get the like the amount of total zero self awareness. He's obviously telling her by ghosting her ass. He's not interested. He's t he's telling her on the live call. I'm not interested, and she's just like trying to ignore that completely and be like. Oh, well, you know, where should we go next? The, distil the, the, the distillery district? Let's go to this restaurant. Let's go to that. Da, 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 da. It's like, like zero self-awareness. This is like, this is red flag. This is a walking more red flags than a Chinese communist parade with this one. All right. Here Jessica. Now. Well, um, okay, Jessica, I, um, I, I don't really know how else to say this. So I'm going to go now. Um, too thank nice. you, this guy's radio host, nice. for having me on. Um, you're very nice welcome. with you guys. Um, good luck to you guys and watch Jessica, what she does I next. Hope you find what you're looking for. Take care, okay? What? His, yeah, Hello, his, Doug? His, his line's dead. His line's yeah, dead. No. Sorry. What? Uh, Jessica, uh, I hate to tell you this. I don't think that that's going yeah. anywhere. Yeah. I think he just unfollowed oh you God. again. This doesn't make any sense. What's happening? What is. Oh my God. You're not meant but to be. He, yeah. No, I should have hung up first. What? No, no, no. no. Right. no, no. Yeah. <laughs> this chick's delusional. I should have hung up first. What's happening? I don't understand. You should have definitely hung up first. You Get him back on the phone. So no, you no, 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 okay, all right. Jessica, you do your thing and, and take good care, okay? And congrats on all your success. Yes, yeah, absolutely. that's awesome. Hard work. Oh, thank you, guys. All right. Bye. Have a wonderful day. What a bimbo. Anyway, that's that's life, fellas. That's life. That's that's what you get with these thoughts. Hey guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that short clip. If you did, consider supporting the creation of content by checking out my supplement line. Pinned in the top comment below of this video in the comments, there's a link to the unpluggedalpha.com forward slash shop. Uh, when you click through, you'll be able to land over here and the entire lineup is broken down by category that it performs best in, estrogen metabolism, fat burning, your foundational essentials for health, immune health, performance, and testosterone support. If you check out with coupon code ALPHA10, you'll get 10% off on your first order. There's also the option to use the subscribe and save model where regular shipments will be sent over to you on a regular basis, and that gives you a little bit of a discount, and your supplement facts are always broken down over here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And again, check out that link. It's pinned in the top comment below in this video. Peace out.